What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Crucial Keys. Welcome back. Uh, I want to say Happy New Year to everybody. I uh, hope you guys had a a great holiday season and you know brought in the new year. You know, happy and blessed. Uh, hope you guys have fun. Uh, hope everybody's safe, doing well. So we got a lot to get into. First of all. Let me say this. I want to thank you guys so much. I appreciate the love you guys have been showing me on my channel. The new subscribers, welcome to the Keys team. I hope you're keying on the like button. Uh, you guys have been showing me bad love on my channel, especially the Key of C video. I can tell you guys are enjoying that. I'm, I'm so glad to see it. So glad to see you guys learning from it. Uh, so first I want to say this. Um, I've been reading you guys comments on the videos and some of you guys are saying you should do this and other keys and stuff like that which I have done in the past if you go back and watch my old videos <laughs> I've done this already but you know I don't mind you know reviewing you know this is what I do so I was reading you guys comments you were saying like you should do this and all the other keys for people like me that don't know how to play in, in all 12 keys so somebody else commented and, and i'll have the comment up somewhere uh somebody else commented and said uh you can take what you learned in c from the key of c video and just translate it to the other key so whatever you learned in c take that go up to the next key and then the next key and the next key they're absolutely right you can take any chord any progression that you learn in key of c and just move it to the next key all right <clears throat> now i know it's easier said than done so as you can see from this title uh let me do my intro right as you can see from this title uh we're doing all 12 keys so i'm giving you guys what you're asking for all right i've done a, a video where i've demonstrated all 12 keys before but it was a little outdated i didn't have the I, you couldn't see my hands or anything like that so I'm going to update it and give you guys a new updated video for all 12 keys. So I want you guys to see I'm 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 giving you what you want. Okay? So just make sure you understand. I'm giving it to you. You still got to practice, you still got to study, you still got to do all that stuff. So I'm giving you the keys and the the uh the little nuggets that you need to master all 12 keys. This is only for the serious musicians, as you can see from the title. So if you are serious, you're gonna master all these keys, all 12, with no problem. So I hope you guys ready, because we about to, I know this video is just starting off, it's probably like a few minutes into the video, but it's probably when you clicked on it it's probably it probably said like an hour or maybe longer so yeah this is this is the beginning of the video so let's get into it so what i'm gonna do i'm gonna start in c but i'm not gonna spend a lot of time in c because we just did a whole video on c so i'm gonna speed through the key of c i'm giving you the basics I'm gonna throw in some jazz chords. I'm just give you guys a review of what I'm about to do so you'll know what's about to happen. I'm gonna give you the basics in C, speed through C and then go to the next key. I'm gonna give you the basics and then I'm gonna give you some jazz chords that you can apply to every key and we're gonna go from there. Whatever happens, whatever else happens, whatever. All right, so here we go. Y'all ready? Let's go. Here we go. All right, so C, let's. I'm speeding through this, y'all. Just letting you know. Just this key, because we just did the video. That's our scale, okay? That's your scale for the key of C. Okay? So, and you count, you count as well. You just don't, don't just say C, D, E, F, G, A, B, C. Say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Do that for every key. That applies to all 12 keys. So when you do progressions like 7, 3, 6, 2, 5, 1, you know what notes to hit. If you count 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, you know that B is your 7. All right? 
So that applies to all the other numbers. So we're going to do our 736251 progression, which is a basic progression that everybody should know. Okay? Here we go. So you're 7. You see, B is in the base because whatever number I say, that number is the base note. So when I say 736251, each number, each note of the number is going to be the base, the base note. That applies to all 12 keys. That's the basic protocol of progressions. All right? So, that's the seven, which is B. That's why it's, in, that's why it's the base note. Left hand, right hand. All right, that's your three, which is E in the bass. One, two, three. All right. Got that? And then your six. Left hand. Right hand. These are kind of like, these are pretty standard chords. Uh... They're not basic chords. Like if I give you the basic chord, it would be like this. Like the regular A minor chord, okay? So you got, this is just six, all right? So one, two, three, four, five, six, all right? So you got your seven, three, six. Now we got to go to the two, which is D, because that's one, two, all right? Left hand, right hand. If you want the basic, here's your basic. D minor. And then a five, which is the G. One, two, three, four, five. And then the one. So, we just did a basic 736251 in the key of C, all right? So, 736251, okay? Now, what I want you to do, master that if you, if you don't know it in the key of C. Master this. Master that. And then take it and move it to the next key, which we're about to do now. Okay, so let me give you a jazz chord. Let me give you a, a, a let me make sure I give you a chord that I didn't already give you for the key of C. Uh, hmm. You could take. I got it. So when you do the uh, five four one. That's another basic progression for all keys. Five, four, one progression. All right. Now you say when you went to the this is the I'm gonna do it slow. That's the five, but you notice it's minor now. All right. That's a basic protocol when you do the five, four, one progression. I'm sorry, five, one, four. Did I say that? Yeah, five, one, four. Yeah. Five, one, okay. It, why is it the one? Because you're on the C. And then four. All right. So you're five. Five, one. So all I did was move from F to E. Okay, that's your five four one progression. I promise you, take it from somebody that that literally taught himself how to play. Okay, if you learn these basic progressions, this is the foundation to chords like like that. Okay, that's the jazz chord I'm gonna give you. 
So this is your five four one. So you got five four one. I'm sorry, five one four. I'm sorry, I apologize, y'all. Five one four. Okay. So instead of doing a basic G minor chord, that's a G minor nine. Instead of doing a basic G minor nine chord, we could do this. It's G minor eleven. Okay. And then going to the one, you stay here and you flat, you flat this F. See that? All right. Now, if you can't stretch that, do the best you can. All right. So you got that's left hand, right hand. do you could do this in your left hand too all right so your left hand is doing this your right hand is doing that and then go to your four all right so that's the basic five one four yeah I said that right five one four progression so you got the seven three six And then oh seven seven three six and then the two five one and then you got the five one four progression okay trust me it may not sound like you're gonna need it you're gonna need this if if you don't know this you're gonna need it all right, especially if you play in church, okay? So, that's the key of C, basics. If you want to go deeper into the key of C, go watch the key of C video. I promise you, I go way deep into the key of C, like really deep. Uh, go check that out. All right, let's go to the next key. Let's go to C sharp, all right? Somebody else been waiting on C sharp. I know who you are. You know who you are. All right, that's our C sharp scale, C sharp C sharp major scale or D flat, same thing. Our D flat major scale. I'm gonna try not to, you know, lag on these. I'm gonna try to speed through them a little bit. I'm gonna try to speed through the parts that I know you guys know that I keep repeating through. So just follow me on this. All right. So you got the scale. Remember, you count as well. Don't just say the, the note count. So you can know what number matches what note, okay? Because now we're not just flat now. We're not flat no more. We're not just hitting white notes no more. Now we're hitting black notes too, all right? All right? So, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one. Now that you guys got the scale, Let's do the same thing. Seven, three, six, two, five, one progression. All right. Seven. I'm sorry. Seven. <laughs> I was in the wrong key for a second. Uh, just seven. Left hand, right hand. That's it. Three. Left hand. Right hand. Your six. Left hand. Right hand. And then a two. Left hand. Right hand. Five. Left hand. Right hand. And then a one. Basic seven three six two five one. Now you can voice these chords differently. You don't have to voice them like me. Somebody said, "What do you mean by voicing?" Whatever the top note is, that's your voice. That's your melody. All right. The bottom note is always your bass. 
whatever the the bot the most bottom notes you're hitting, that's your bass. So this the seven chord. My bass is C. My melody or my voice is F. Okay? So you got it. Bass, voice, or melody. Alright? See now this chord, the F7 flat 13, I can voice this differently. I don't have to put the F, I don't have to leave the F up there. I can put the A flat on top. And that's a sharp nine. Okay? I could I could put the A flat on top. Or I could do this. I could flat the nine. Put the F sharp on top. So I'm different, it's different voices. Okay, so you got that's a different voice from doing all right. So that's how you voice it differently. And then the, the six, see how you see how the F is staying right there? So yeah, like the F, I can leave the F at the melody if I want to, but I don't have to though, I can voice it differently. So So that, I put the C at the top as the melody, okay? Left hand, right hand, okay? That's a B flat minor nine. I can voice it, I can go even deeper. So, that's a B, B flat seven sus two sus four. With the E flat as my melody. All right, so that's just different ways to voice it, but it's all the same progression, okay? Seven, three, six, two. Now this you could voice differently too, all right? You could put it up here, have the A flat on top, but you see my bass is still the two, which is E flat. Remember, we're in the key of D flat, okay? Five. Or you can have the A flat on top if you want to. And then one. Now you can definitely voice that differently. That's the basic uh triad for you know these are triads by the way. This right here. It's the same chord, you just voicing it differently. That's it. Same chord. That's all the triad is. It's a combination of the one, the three, and the five. So you say, where's the one? We're in D flat. There's your one. Where's the three? The F. Where's your five? A flat. That's a triad. So you take that and you can voice it differently. Same one, three, five, but the, the one is acting as the bass right now that the five is the melody right now you can change that and it's the same chord so you gotta look check this out now the a the bass is a flat the the uh three is the melody and then you can change it again now the F is at the bottom and the one is at the top. Okay? So, I mean, you can do it set, you can do it however you want to. You just know. Like, if I put the bass, the one at the bass, I can do this. And it's still the same. Oh, sorry about that. All right? So that that applies to every key. All right, simple triad. So you got the seven, three, six, two, five, one. Let's do the five, one, four progression. Same concept that we did in uh, C. So you got the five, and it's gonna be minor. The five, one, four progression. You always start minor. So whatever the five is, it's supposed to be major, but you're gonna make that minor. Okay. So here you go. 
Now all you gotta do, go back. Remember what you did in C, and C you did this for the five one four. All you did was take every single note one by one and move up. Here you go. I'm gonna move up. So I want to take the five one four progression that I learned in C and put it to the next key, which is D flat or C sharp. So that means I'm gonna take every note up one note. Now we're in C sharp, and we're about to do the five one four progression. That's the five. One, four. Okay, that's it. Learn that. All right. So, what I'm gonna do is you, you guys getting the concept of what I'm trying to do now. So I'm gonna take the five one four progression, and I'm I'm gonna take the three six seven three six two five one five one four progression and i'm gonna play it in a little rhythm but not fast i'm gonna play it in all 12 keys to show you how easy it is okay i want you guys to catch this part you're gonna have to do a lot of pausing because i don't want to take up all the video just doing this part all right so i'm gonna do it as slow as possible catch it here we go. I'm gonna start on. I'm gonna go back to C and start. I'm gonna go all the way from C, all the way back to C. Okay. So here we go. Seven, three, six, two, five, one. Seven, three, six, two, five, one. Five, one. Four, five, one, four, five, one, four, five, one, four. Take it up. Seven, three, six. Now we in C sharp. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Here we go. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Take it up. Seven, three, six. Now we in D. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Seven. Three, six. I'm gonna do it again. Seven, three, six. Watch my fingers. Seven, three, six. One more time. Seven, three, up. Six. One more time. Seven, three, six. Here we go. Five, one, four. Five, one. Four, five, one, four, five, one, four. One more time. Five, one, four. Take it up. Seven, three, six. Now we in E flat. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Oh, <laughs> two, five, one. Here we go. Seven, three, six. Two, five, one. Seven, three, six. I'm gonna keep the chords basic real quick. Seven, three, six. Two, five, one. Two. Five, one, seven, three, six, seven, three, six, seven, three, six, 
two, five, one. Two, five, one. Here we go. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Still in E flat. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. One more time. Five, one, four. Take it up. Uh, seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Seven, three, six. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. Two, five, one. One more time. Two, five, one. Here we go. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Five, one, four. Make sure you guys get that. Five, one, four. One more time. Five, one, four. One more time. Five, one. We in E now, by the way. Five, one, four. Take it up. Next key, going to F. Oh, seven three six. Yeah, seven three six. Seven. Three. Three. Six. This could be a six too. All right. Seven. Do that. It's a seven. Seven, three, six. Next one. Two. And F. Two, five, one. Two, five, Back to the seven. Seven, three, six. One more time. Seven, three, six. Two, five, one. And then five. Five, one, four. Do it again. Five, five, one, four. We in F, remember? Again. Five, one, four. Okay? more time with the seven three six seven three six two five one five one four all right next key we're going to F sharp uh 
seven, three, six, seven, three, six. You can voice your seven like this too. Seven, three, six. All right, two, two, five, one. Now I wanna stop here real quick. Now you guys, I just did a two, five, one and F sharp, right? What does that remind you of? Think about it. Here's your two, we in F sharp. Your two is A flat. So you got two, five, one. What does that what does that remind you of? If you guessed it right, you would have said that's the five one four in C sharp. They're relative. So doing the two five one in F sharp is like doing the five one four and c sharp okay think about that this is a very important thing to understand when you're playing this is how you learn how to improvise and manipulate chords and scales when you know exactly what you're doing and what re relates to other keys and the relative progressions that you can play you can you understand all what's happening when you're playing that's how you're able to do different things and do things that other people wouldn't do because they don't quite understand what they're playing. They just happen to know how to play or they're just, you know, just talented. Some people are just naturally talented to where they just can pick things up, you know, like that. But they don't necessarily understand what they're doing, though. So, and F sharp. The two is A flat, but in C sharp, the A flat is the five, okay? So that, that two, five, one, and F sharp is your five, one, four, and C sharp. Think about that, all right? So we're going to keep going. Two, five, one, and F sharp. Two, five, I'm sorry, five. Yeah, two, five, one. Two, five, one. And F sharp. All right, so you got the seven, three, six, two, five, one. And then you got the five, five, one, four. Five, one, four we'll do it one more time five one four okay next key let's go to G seven I'm sorry let's go to G seven left hand right hand three Six. Do it one more time. I'm trying to speed through this part because we got more to get to. All right. Seven. Three. Six. Two. I'm sorry. Two. Left hand. Right hand. Two. Five. one all right so you got two five one and then you got the five five one four 
all right again five one four again five one four all right so I'm gonna do the whole thing again seven three six two five one five one four let's take it up uh seven three six so you got the seven left hand right hand three six two left hand right hand five one you got the five one four that should be simple five one Voice it like that too. So that's A flat. Five, one, four. Okay. Again, seven, three, six, two, five, one. And then five, one. You can voice it like that too. Five, one, four. All right, let's go to A. Here we go. All right, we're in A now. So you got the seven, left hand, right hand, seven, three. Six. That's a six. Okay. Left hand, right hand. Do it again. Seven. Left hand, right hand. Three. Six. And then the two. Left hand, right hand. Two, five, and then a one. So you got seven, three, six, two, five, one. And then you got the five, one, four. Again, five. Left hand, right hand, five, one, edge of one, then a four. All right, so seven, three, six, two, five, one. Then you got five, one, four. All right, that's the key of A. Let's go up to B, B flat. S seven, left hand, right hand. If you paying attention, you should see how these chords are getting repetitive. All right, seven, three, six, Two, I'm sorry, uh, seven, three, six, let's go to the two, two, you can play it more simple than that, two, keep it simple, two, five, one. 
all right we're almost done all right so you got seven three six two five one then you got the five one four five one four all right seven three six two five sorry five one four okay all right so one more key let's go to b all right seven left hand right hand seven three six left hand right hand two let's keep it simple two five or you go to the F sharp. Five. One. And then the five. 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 One. And four. Okay. Again, five. So seven, three, six, five, I'm sorry, two, two, five, one, and then the five, one, four. All right. Now, I just gave you. Seven three six two five one five one four progression in all twelve keys. All right. So now that you have the basics, let's get into some more complicated stuff for the keys. All right. So if I wanted, if I just learned my basics, I got all my basics in all twelve keys. I got the seven three six two five one five one four progressions. I got all that master i got the scales i got all that i got i got all that done so i finally got my scales i got the basic chords i got all that done now what about the the jazz chords that you would play you know like the big chords they don't have to necessarily be big but the the fat chords the you know the just the nasty chords that you'll play, you know, how do you get that in all 12 keys? So if you mastered the scale and if you mastered the basics, the way that you get to chords like way you get to those chords is through the basics all right so i'm gonna give you guys some examples okay so and i'm gonna show you the example on all 12 keys i'm gonna i'm gonna fly through this all right so if i'm playing how great is our guy that's got that's our go-to song for some reason i don't know so I did it in C in the last video, so I'm doing it in C sharp. All right. See, I'm playing basic right now. I'm playing the basics right now.
See, that was real basic right there, right? So if I say, all right, I got the basics, now I want to make it my own. This is what you do. Practice makes perfect. Experiment with it. You know what the scale is. You got your basic chords. You already know your basic chords. You got the basic chords. You know what the scale is. The only thing left to do is experiment. Okay? Especially if you don't have anybody to teach you, sit down with you, and really personally give you some of their own chords. This is what you do. This is what I did. All I did was start adding notes. That's it. All right. So I'm like, huh, that's that's cool. It's the right chord, but I'm not feeling it. So what can I do? That's something to do right there. So, oh, my bad. <laughs> so stuff like that, like just play around with it. So I did that for C sharp, right? Why do I keep my fingers are slippery? I'm sorry. So what do I do with D? Same thing. Let's go to D. See that? Same thing. All I did was take that chord I played in C sharp and move it up to D. Nothing crazy about that at all. Nothing. Whoa, you just blew my mind. Like, it, it was nothing spectacular about that. All you did was take this chord and go here. That's all you did. So, I'm trying to find the, the best way to say it. When a guy can play chords like, like, like this... And, and other keys that you may seem, you may uh, say are difficult keys to play in, is not. It's n they're not doing anything that hasn't been done before, okay? If you go to any jazz musician, they'll tell you playing in D is just like playing in C sharp. It's not a big deal at all. Like li literally, literally it's not a big deal. So, and it's not, nothing rocket science about it. Take the, take the chord and literally one by one go like this. That's it. That's how I learn. Literally. It takes time, patience, and hard work. That's what, that's the only way you're going to accomplish anything in life that you that you set out to do hard work that's that's what it, that's exactly what I did right there so now I can play in D like I would play in C sharp all because I took the chords that I learned in C sharp and took them up a half step that's it so you got Oh, that's all we did. And the same feel that you have in C sharp, you have that same feel, nothing lacks when you move to the next key. So you got uh, all that, you know, that feel, that flavor that you play with, same thing in D. Same thing, nothing has changed because the key changed, nothing changes. So when you go to the next key and it happens to be a white key that you're not comfortable, nothing changed. That you used to not be comfortable in, nothing changes for you. So here's the progression I'm going to give you guys. It's going to be, I'm a, this is a test for you guys, all right? I really want you guys to master all 12 keys, all right? So this is a test I'm going to give you, all right? I'm going to start in C sharp. So. It's a progression from a song I learned a long time ago. All right. So this is the progression. So you start on the four. Goes to the six. It's a four, six, two, five, 
one seven six two five one four <laughs> I know y'all like what so get the numbers first that's all you need is the numbers that's the key to playing it all right so you got one I'm sorry we're in C sharp four four six so four I'm only gonna give you guys these chords once because remember what I just said when we go to the next key what do you do take the chords you played in the first key and move it up that's all you do so I'm gonna give you guys the chords I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys the chords one time you got the progression and then once I give you the chords for C sharp I'm gonna keep I'm gonna just go through it and you gotta follow this is your homework all right hope you guys really take this this is a great progression to learn all 12 keys in here we go four that's your chord too left hand right four six we in the key of d flat or c sharp whichever one you want to call it that's your six left hand right hand five left hand right hand one uh i'm sorry two <laughs> my fault y'all i'm getting excited y'all know what happens when i get excited uh five All right, and then one. Or you can play it regular, okay? That's your one. So again, four, six, two, five, and then here's the next one. One, seven, got that? Six. So you got one, seven, six, two. Five. You see that the five is minor now. Make sure you get that. One. And then you start all over again. Four. Okay. So now I'm about to start playing it. I'm about to go through all 12 keys. Now, I'm going to try to play it slow, but I want you guys to catch this. Remember what I said? All you got to do is take what you did, what you learned in C sharp, and go up. I'm going to show you guys how easy it is. Y'all ready? Now, I didn't practice this. All right, so we're going to see if I remember. It's all about your mind. Here we go. is repetitive real basic get it Going up, going up. Listen to this. Now we in D. Same feel. Nothing lacks. Just could you change keys? Don't mean you can't play like you did in the other key. Let's go up. See that modulation? Now we E flat.
take it up. Now we in E. Oh, hero, my bad. See, I gotta practice myself. Now we in E. Six, two, five, one, seven, six, three, five, one, four, <laughs> six, two, five, one, seven, six. Five, uh, one, seven, six, three, five, one, four. It's hard to say it when you're playing. Do it again. Uh, Alright, here we go. We're going up. Let's go to F. Now we have F. Time. Let's go up. Now we have sharp. Going up. Let's go to G. Go up, go on the A flat. Let's go to A. Go to B flat. Ah. Uh. One more time. Go up.
one time, go up. Last key. C sharp there we go so this video is already an hour long we got more to go so we're just gonna keep rolling with it so now that was a progression that you literally you need that progression literally every key you need to know how to play that all right now I don't care how you voice it. This is not about how you voice it right now. You could voice it any way you want to. It doesn't matter. Uh, as long as you got the right chord and the right bass note to go with that chord. Okay? I don't care how you do it. So we started in C sharp. I gave you the chords in C sharp. All you have to do is take those chords that you got for that progression in C sharp. Take it up. Keep going up. And the more you do it, the more comfortable you you'll get your fingers it's all muscle memory that's all it is your fingers literally have memory in them they remember stuff that's why if you do something enough your fingers you don't even have to really look because your fingers remember what to do that's why you could do like stuff like that your fingers like oh i know how to do that that's that's easy like that's that's something normal that we do or a run like your fingers got muscle memory inside of them so they know but you can't get that or get to that point if you don't practice if you don't repetitively play the same thing over and over again you won't ever get to the point where you can play it in your sleep so you have to practice, 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 repeat, repeat, repeat. Um, so I hope you guys got that progression. We're going to move on. Now, you got the basics in all 12 keys, basic progressions. You know the scales in all 12 keys. I just gave you a nice fat progression for the key of C. I mean, for the all keys. I'm sorry, not just for the key of C, but for all the keys. And I showed you guys how you can take that key that progression and flow into all 12 keys with it it's like just going up stairs just flowing right up the stairs all right so now let's go a little bit deeper into the jazz chords and the fat chords and all that stuff um let's go back to how great is our god all right so if you are like type of R&B if you're an R&B type person like you like the R&B sound like the jazz sound a little bit I'm gonna do this for you real quick all right so we're gonna go here like the little R&B sound so so I'm gonna give you guys a chord that you can take and place and I'm gonna show you how to apply it to any key. So <clears throat> let's do let's let's turn how great is our guy into an R and B song. Like he's doing stuff like that. So 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 the melody, how great is our God? Sing with me, how great is our God? So that little thing right there, I want you to take that. So sing with me, the seven, three, six, three. Okay? We're gonna do that in all 12 keys. So let's go back to let's go to let's go to the next key because you got it in C sharp. So sing with me, 
how great that's the six then the three three is our god all right so key of d so how great See that? Same thing. And you can voice it however you want to. Sing with me how great is our God. Oh, no. So we're going to start right there. Next key, E flat. All right. This is the type of stuff that you do when you know the scale, chords, progression. All right. Sing with me how great is our God. All right. Let's go to E. Here we go. We're in E now. Sound. That's that for some reason it had a little extra something on it. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna do that again. So sing with me, how great. Yeah, I like that. I like that. So the same. I'm doing the same thing, but in all, I'm just doing it in a different key. That's it. Same thing. You see how easy it is to play in all twelve keys. Let's go to F. All right. So, so, uh, and then say with me, how great. Ooh, I like that too. So, you got, I shouldn't have to tell y'all this seven, three, six, and a three. Back to the three. All right, same thing. See how you can just take what you know and apply it to other keys. That's it, it's that simple. Let's go to F sharp. So, here we go. Same thing. See, oh, I'm sorry. Sing with me, how great. All right. There you go. Let's go to G. Now we're in G. How great. Zarga. Sing. you do this they're gonna be like I like that see that same chord just in a different key all right so so you got sing with me how great it's a little R&B ish a little bit uh, let's go to A flat Sing with me, how great. Oh, 
my bad. Wait, what key we in? We in A flat. Okay. So sing. I'm sorry. Uh, sing with me. How great. There we go. There we go. So you see, same chord, different key. All right. So sing with me. So, here's an example. You see how I voice the chord? You don't have to voice it like that. All right? So, you just sing with me, how great. Put the F on top instead of the B flat. Put the F on top. Give it a little darker sound, more humble. I call it the humble sound. So, when you instead of doing like that F, that B flat is like, hey, I'm here. Instead of doing that, you do. The F is like, uh, I'm here, but I'm not trying to make every make a scene. That's basically what the F is saying. All right. And you could keep that F on top and voice it even more differently. So you could do. Sing with me, how great. See that? All I did was just. Add the G. Well, I'm sorry, I added the F in there on the bottom. If you didn't want to use your, all your fingers, you know, for your left hand. <clears throat> and you can approach it too. So you can do sing with me, how great. Like stuff like that. That's R and B is right there. So sing with me, how great. All right. So, go to A. Let's see what we can do on A. What is going? Is it going? Is it going to be the same? What is going to sound like? Here we go. Uh, Same concept with this too. So you gotta sing with me, Alfred. Do the same thing. Alright, so sing with me, Alfred. You can approach it just like you did in A flat. So sing with me, Alfred. So let's uh one more time. Sing with me, how All I did was do this and go up. All right, all right. Let's go to B flat. see how I'm doing this it is very simple it is not complex you guys can do this I'm doing the same progression in all 12 keys all right and add in this chord to it all right again see that's a little bit more humble right there all right Go to the next key. Here we go. Let's go to B. Now we're in B, right? Now wait a minute. Okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait. That's your three and B. Jazzy though. 
So you could do it like this to the same. Save me, save me, Same thing for B, all right. So, say me how great. All right. So, uh, what we got? One more key. C. Here we go. C. So I just took you through a song, played in every key, and added my feel to it. But I did it in every key, and it it didn't take I didn't it didn't take much to figure out what I did based on what I did in the first key. All right, the number system. The number system is your friend. If you learn the number system along with the notes in every scale you know all 12 keys that's the secret okay literally if you want to know the secret to mastering 12 keys that's it the number system along with the notes in each scale what do you mean crucial this is exactly what i mean one if i'm in c one two three four five six seven one so i automatically know the one in C is C. The four in C is F. The two in C is D. The six in C is A. Like, if you know that up here, you're going to know it right here. I promise you. And if you know what chord you're supposed to play with that note up here, you're going to know it right here. That's how you master all 12 keys. That doesn't come overnight, though. You have to practice it. The more you practice it, the more your mind gets used to it, the more your mind can remember, and then your fingers will remember automatically. I know. This is this is what I'm supposed to do. Now, I'm going to give you guys some more stuff before we get out of here. This is already an hour and 18 minutes. I hope you guys are enjoying it. I hope, you, hope it's helping you guys. This is what you guys wanted. Basic, jazzy chords in all keys. I gave you all 12 keys. I gave you progressions in all 12 keys. Hope you guys appreciate it because this is not always easy for me. But I love it. This is what I do. Um, I'm going to give you guys some more stuff. This is going to be homework, though. Okay? So I'm going to give you guys some chords, but I want you to know how to play these chords in 12 different styles yep so a chord like this now you can play this chord 12 different styles so if the b flat is at the bottom that means you're going up to the next key okay so that's what i mean by 12 different styles so it's the same chord it's just in 12 different places so Instead of playing it right here, I can play it right here. Play here, here, here. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. 10, 11, 12. kind of nice, didn't it? Uh, so I played it 12 different styles. So why, why do I need this? Number one, so you can know how to maneuver from key to key, like going straight up, straight up, like modulating or demodulating. See? If you know how to move like that, 
modulating and taking chords and putting them in different keys is so easy. So easy if you know how to do this. The reason why I'm, I'm picking that particular chord is because it's not comfortable. So that's the first chord. So this chord right here, guys, take that. This your left hand. That's your right hand. Okay. This is a B flat major seven sharp 11 13. All right. So take this chord and play it in every bass. Go from B flat all the way up back to B flat in your bass. All right. All right. So this is what I want to. This is what I want to see you guys do. This right here. That's what I want to see you guys do. Okay? And then back down. That's what I want to see. All right? And the reason why I picked this chord is because the chord is not a comfortable chord. Like this chord, you could do this easy. Like Like that's that's too easy. And then, you know, with one hand, you just it, it that's that's too easy. So on your left hand, you got three notes. Your right hand, you got four notes. All right? Take that and just go up. The other thing is it's not comfortable because of this note. This note makes it uncomfortable. You'll see what I'm saying when you play it. This note should be right here. Then it'll be easier. You see what I'm saying? This note, because you flat it, this note, it makes it harder. It makes it a little bit more uncomfortable. Because you got to make sure you got that, that off note, which is your melody. Okay? It's really because of the tritone. The tritone is at the bass and the melody. Alright? This is a tritone. B flat and E. So you took that, you separated them, and you put a chord in between, right? So you put this chord in between B flat and E, which is a tritone. That's what makes it harder. It's harder to maneuver tritones when you're like, 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 uh, It's hard to do that. It's harder, I'm gonna say, to do that. To do that versus just doing like, like that's easy. But maneuvering tritones, like flowing through the tritone, is much harder. That's why I picked that chord. So that's your chord. I got another chord for you. All right, y'all ready for this? Uh, we're gonna start here. All right, that's the D flat sharp 11 13. All right, so you're gonna take this chord and you're gonna literally go to the next notes at the next available note. <laughs> so I promise you you say crucial how is this going to help me I promise you I just spit a little bit uh, I promise you this will help you with your playing seriously learning the chord is great but there is no way you're going to play fluently if your fingers are tight and they just stiff and you have no dexterity you have no you know it's not fluid you're not going to master all 12 keys if your fingers are literally like stuck. 
And what I mean by that is you can't move like freely. You have to be able to move freely to a to be able to uh, master all twelve keys. You ask again, why, Crucia? I'll tell you. I'm glad you asked because each key has a shape. What is the sh What do you mean shape? In a key of C. The shape is flat. Wait, where am I? Okay. So it's flat. Like that, right? So in the key of C, when I hit this chord, C major, it's flat. There's no shape. Now, let me give you a greater, a greater example. A bass player, when he's playing his bass, his left hand, if he's a left, if he's right-handed, that means his left hand is going to be on a fretboard. That's why I'm using my left hand. So, left-handed, right-handed bass players, when they put their left hand on the fretboard, the fretboard is flat. There are no shapes on the fretboard. So when he plays his bass, he's hitting the notes. No fret is higher than the other fret. Okay? So there are no shapes when you play bass, right? So his he can I see I see bass players that literally can play with their fingers flat on the fretboard. All right. So they they don't have to worry about shapes. Now, if you picture the bass, you see the frets on the bass. Each fret is the same height and and they don't have, like the A flat fret is not higher than the B flat. Like they're all the same height. All right. Now, Go back to the piano. As you can see, the the white notes are lower than the black notes. So when you have stuff like this, one is lower than the other, and you have to touch them and press them, you're going to create shapes in your hand, your fingers, because of the height difference. Okay? So if you only can play in C, it's because you don't feel right playing different shapes in the uh, in the other keys. So if I'm playing in C, I literally made no shapes. Some people pick C because of that very reason. They don't have to lift their finger up to get to any black notes. It's more convenient for them. So here's where the shapes come in. Come in. Once you leave C, uh, the key of C, that's where the shapes come in. All the other keys create shapes. C major is the only key where you can play basic chords a basic song and you won't create any shapes all right so i'm gonna play this chord this is gonna be my example chord c major 713 all right no shapes everything's flat right if i take this and move to c sharp i'm gonna have a shape so let's see now we have a shape because you got up down, up, up, down, up, up. There's my shape right there. Now, if you're sitting at a keyboard, you can see it at, at your point of view. Like, in my point of view, I see the shape. Okay? If I go to D, same thing. Down, up, down, down, up, down, down. That's another shape. All right? That's why it's so important to know how to maneuver. Uh, because if you don't know how to maneuver through the black and the white notes, you won't master the keys. That's why I want you guys to take those two chords. Here's your first one. Okay, here's your second one. And I want you to go straight up all the way back to the where you started 
and then go straight, go back down to where you started, okay? All the way up. Practice that as much as possible, okay? So, what did we learn today? Let's review real quick. We learned how, learned the basics and every key, basic progressions. We learned how to take one progression and make it apply to all 12 keys, okay? So, I want you guys to understand, it's so simple. It may seem complex, but it's so simple once it, once you, once you get it, and you get it in here, because it's, it, it starts here first. If you get it here, your fingers will get it, I promise you, I promise you. So, we learn how to do that, we learn how to take and, and add stuff to a progression that may not be in the progression and take a song and play it literally in every key with no lacking so the same flavor and style you had in C sharp so you're gonna have that same flavor and style in D okay okay so I hope you guys enjoyed this. I hope you guys, I hope it helps you guys out a lot. This video is huh, an hour and a half. So yeah, I just hope this satisfies you guys as far as 12 keys, uh, planning all 12 keys. Uh, I can't, I don't want to overload you guys. I really want you guys to get the basics. And I wanted to demonstrate what it looks and sounds and what it's gonna feel like when you play all 12 keys. Because if you're serious about playing, if you wanna make this your career, you know, if this is what you wanna do, you need this. Seriously. You need it and you need it like immediately. You know, I'm here. I'm here to help you guys. So um Whatever I can do to help, that's what I'm going to do. If you guys uh, need anything else, just let me know. Uh, I'm going to have more videos, you know, not just teaching how to play on 12 keys, all that stuff. If you have any song requests that I think I should play or teach or break down or whatever, let me know. Leave a comment, uh, key on the like button. I really do appreciate you guys though. You guys were showing me mad love. And uh hope you guys have a great new year. And uh this is the start of our new year. So this time next year, you guys should be masters of all 12 keys. And I'm believing it and I'm hoping that you guys really study study the video. Uh oh, let me say this on video too. I don't have a DVD. I don't have a DVD right now. Now, if you guys want me to make a DVD, I will. But I feel like I don't want to charge you guys for, you know, trying to learn. I really don't feel right about that. But if enough people want me to make a DVD, I'll make a DVD and I'll make it different from what I do on YouTube. All right. So, for example, I'll have singer. I'll bring singers in. I'll bring other musicians in, so we can get different, you know, point of views, concepts, and everything like that. If you guys want it, I want to see how bad y'all want. It. If you really, really want it, I'll do it. But I need you guys to show me that you really want it. I already seen a few people in the comments that you know asking about if I have a DVD. But if you guys want it, let me know in the comment section and just be honest. If you're not, if you don't want me to make a DVD, hey, that's fine. You know, I'll keep doing this. I love and I enjoy doing this. So if that's something y'all want to see in the future, let me know. If it's not, that's cool too, you know. But anyway, I'm going to get out of here. Oh, and I don't have MIDI files right now, but that's something that I can do in the future too. But 
again, if y'all want it, it gotta be more than just one person asking for it, okay? It has to be enough because y'all know this is, work. it takes a lot of work. All this that y'all see, it takes a lot of work. So if y'all interested in you know, me doing, you know, DVDs, MIDI files, all that stuff, let me know in the comment section. I love you guys. Thank you so much for your support, all the love. I see y'all. I see y'all showing me love. I see it for all the people supporting me. I love you. Thank you. Appreciate it. I'm getting out of here. This video is an hour and 36 minutes. I don't know if it's going to be shorter from editing. We'll see. I'm out of here. I'm done talking. Peace. We out. Woo.